Hi guys, it's Jezere back for another Stacking the Shelves after being absent for the past three weeks. Um, I have accumulated a bunch of books, um, being lazy that I am, to film a video back maybe last week. I should have, but I didn't because I don't know. But yes, I'm back now and I will show you all the books that I got, um, print books and ebooks. And um, I'm going to speed through them as fast as I can. First book I got is from Macmillan, and that is Midwinter Blood by Marcus Cedric. I think this is an arc, yes. Um, it comes out February 2013, and I think it's short stories. The next one is from Arc Cycling, also um, M Emily's Reading Room, and that's an arc of The Summer Prince by Alea Don Johnson. Um, this, I haven't heard much about this one, but it's been on my wish list forever, and I have been dying to read it. And I just love the cover. So thanks, Arc Cycling, and thank you, Emily. The next book is one I borrowed from Aisha at Word Spelunking. She actually read my tweet where I said that I would give my left and right ventricle to read this book. And um, she let me borrow it. So thank you so much, Aisha, for The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Arnett. I am so going to read this as soon as I can and get this to you, get this back to you as soon as I can. Next set of arcs are from Susan from Waste Paper Prose. Um, the first one she sent me is Black City by Elizabeth Richards. I've been dying to read this book like so badly, like you don't even understand. And finally, finally, finally I got a copy. Next one is Beta by Rachel Kahn. I haven't heard much about this one, but um, I'm definitely dying to get into it. The next book is one that I'm actually reading right now, and that's Cruel by Jennifer Albin. Um, I've heard a ton of great things about this one, um, and I totally adore the cover. Next one is "Live Through This" by Mindy Scott. Um, I, I I've been this has been on my wish list for a long time now, and it's kind of been a while, so I don't really know what it's about now. But it does look pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. Next one is "Through to You" by Emily Hainsworth, another book that's been on my wish list for the longest time. And I think this one's like mystery suspense type of thing. Next one is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This book is one of my favorite contemporaries ever. So if you have not read this one, you need to get it soon. It's a great summer read too. Even if it's not summer, you should totally read it. Next one is Time Between Us by Tamara Ireland Stone. Another book I have been dying to read. I think this one's about time travel, right? Last print arc is Venom. Oops, Venom by Fiona Paul, another book I needed to read soon. So that's all the print arcs that I got. Next are um, ebooks, um, ones that I, I got for review, ones that I've won, some freebies, and some that I've also bought throughout the weeks that I have been absent. Um, first set of ebooks are for review or I got in from blog tours. So let's start with blog tours first. The first one is Down to You by M. Layton. This one was from ATOMR Book Tours. The book was so good. And you have to meet Cash and Nash because they are sexy. Second book I got for blog tour is Waterfall by Lacey Danes. Thanks to Roxanne from Bewitching Book Tours. Um, my review goes up, I think, January something. Early January. I, don't, I forgot the date. One book I got for review, um, thanks to Harper Teen and Edelise, and that's Mind Games by Kirsten White. And you know, guys, I love Kirsten White, so I definitely cannot wait to get into this, her new book, because I love her, I love her writing, and she's totally awesome. The next set of books I got um, are from NetGalley. The first one is The Goddess Inheritance. Um, no cover for this one, obviously. Um, it's the last book in The Goddess Test trilogy and I'm excited to get into it because I really want to know what happens to Henry and Kate. The next one is Wicked Kiss by uh, Michelle Rowan. Um, I absolutely sort of liked Dark Kiss and um, I hopefully Wicked Kiss will be better. The next book I got from NetGalley is um, one I adore the cover but the cover doesn't show up on here and that's Strands of Bronze and Gold by Jane Nickerson. Um, I forgot what it's about, really, to be honest, because I have so many books that I have to read, but I'm definitely excited to read it for sure. So, the next set of ebooks are 
um, ebooks that I have won throughout the week. The first one is The Edge of Never by Jay Redmersky, and I've heard a ton of good things about this, but I have no doubt because I love Jessica's writing, so, and I love contemporary, and I love dark stories, so yes, yay for this! I've been dying to read it! The next book that I won, um, I got it from, I won on Twitter, thanks to the author, and that's Wings of Tavia by Devry Walls. Um, I have not read the first one, but I'm going to read it as soon as I can because now that I have a second book, I can definitely just fly through both of them. Yay! The next um, four ebooks that I won um, are from Michelle Zink and Swoon Romance. Um, the first one is Temptation's Heat by Michelle Zink. Um, I love Michelle Zink's writing, so I cannot wait to get into this one. Second to Temptation's Heat is Temptation's Kiss, which is also by Michelle Zink, um, another of the first two books in the trilogy, and I also cannot wait because look at the cover. Sexy! This next book is um, a novella, and it's Unwrap Me by Carolina Jordan and Samantha Spencer. I, I've heard on Twitter about people talking about this, and it was really good, so can't wait. And the last book I won is another novella. I think all of them are novella, actually, novellas, to be honest. And that's Captivated by You by Diane Alberts. I don't know what it's about, but it does look interesting. Now for the books that I bought. Um, this past few weeks, there have been a ton of Kindle deals on Amazon. And um, being me, I cannot resist because um, I have some kind of addiction obsession and need to go on Amazon and look for all these Kindle deals and press the buy one click now or whatever click now buy now button and it's horrible 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 but um yes first book is The Coincidence of Callie and Caden by Jessica Sorensen and I love this cover and um I think this one is new adult and I have been um looking through Goodreads list of new adult titles and I think that's why I've been buying so many ebooks. The next one is The Mighty Storm by Samantha Toll. Samantha Toll, yes. Love the cover. Um, I don't know what this is about, guys, but trust me, it was on sale, so I bought it. Next one is Avoiding Commitment by K.A. Lind, another new adult title, I believe, and another one that I'm dying to read. It was on sale for 99 cents at the time, and duh, how could you resist 99 cents? Next one that was also 99 cents, I think, at the time, Unravel Me by Kendall Ryan. Another one. I think this is another new adult one that love the cover that I'm dying to read. This next ebook is also by Jessica Sorensen, and one that I have heard a ton of great things about, and that is The Secret of Ella and Mick. Is that how you say it? Mika? I don't know. Sorry, I'm horrible at pronunciation. But yes, I've heard a ton of great things. And look at the piercing on that guy's lips. Please, can you? Can we not even right now? Can we not even? Love it. Last ebook that I bought that was on sale. This one is Devoured by Emily Snow. And I love this cover. And I love that guy's tattoo on his arm. It's so hot, I can't even explain. So yes, those are all the Kindle books that I bought. And then, of course, you have your Kindle freebies that are free. And even though you don't know what they're about, really, but the cover looks awesome. And you just have to get it, right? Right? Yeah. Obviously, because I cannot resist myself. Anyway, first one that I got that was free. Um, Gorge Skies by Samantha Young. Um... People were blasting this on Twitter, so I definitely had to get it. And besides, I already had the first one. Another book that was blasted on Twitter that it was free, and I had like an hour to spare before it became unfree, and that was Rogue by Leigh Timor. She is the author of The Truth About Baking, I think what it's called, which that's, oh, it was on my wish list, and then I saw that this one was free, and I was like, oh, this is on my wish list too, I want it. So. Duh, I had to get it. This next one is Enemies and Playmates by Darcia Hell. Um, I heard that this one is really, really dark, like, because I think it deals with abuse and all kinds of, you know, dark topics. So, duh, you know me, I love dark, I like, I love dark stuff. So, yeah, 
yeah another awesomeness finally finally the last book that i got this week is lawful escort by tina falson um another book i have no idea what it's about but i wanted it because i think i, I know i read the blur before i bought it but well it was free so <laughs> yeah but i wanted it even if they are, if ebooks are free, I always look at the blurb first because I want to make sure that I want the book instead of, you know, being greedy and just, you know, pressing that yellow button because obviously when that yellow button is up there and it says free or 99 cents or 199 or 299, yeah, this finger, this finger cannot resist itself and I gotta click it. I gotta click it and I gotta add it to my car and send it directly to, to Shadow because if not, I'll go crazy. I also forgot I got swag thanks to um, Tiffany Schmidt. Um, the author of Send Me a Sign, and she um, actually sent me um, a sticker and a book plate, signed book plate of Send Me a Sign, and also a four leaf clover tattoo, plus um, a Send Me a Sign magnet, and then also some bookmarks, which I'll probably end up giving away on the blog sometime soon or something. So check that out. So that's all I got this week. Um, tons and tons of books. Um, don't know when I'll have the time to actually get to them, but um, yeah, had to get had to get all of them, and I'm very very thankful. So I will link all of them in the post. Thanks, guys. I will probably see you after Christmas. So have a merry merry Christmas, and um, I'll definitely have another video for you after this week. Since duh, presents, Christmas presents. Bye, guys.